on guys, Hayden here bringing you another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be on a uh, chain type render so that basically means there's going to be a lot of chains on the render um, it's kind of easier to do than a lot of things so I mean you know and it also could depend on your logo and stuff how this looks so it's really up to you if you guys want to do this or not so here we go let's get started so a chain render usually has grunge materials which if you want these materials that I'm going to use now you can uh, buy them at my store at www.selfie.com or this slash zebs art and you can buy it for like two dollars if you want you get a nice nice con well grungy looking material like this which I'm using today so Basically, we're going to use my logo here, and uh, you're just going to put a nice grunge material onto your logo or text, it really doesn't matter, and we're going to get a nice looking outline. So basically, duplicate this, uh, put, drag each extrude nerve into the atom array, like so, and then you're going to notice a uh, nice little, you know, cage looking thing. Uh, you could work with this, most likely most people don't, so uh, to change settings go to cylinder radius, change this to 1, and uh, sphere radius change this to 1. And you're going to get this nice looking outline, and um, with this you could do a lot of things with it, you could do a different grunge, you could do the same material, which I might do myself. Uh, cubic seamless and we're going to then nitro blast this so duplicate that nitro blast main uh, high and we're gonna set 200 pieces that's a good piece set I guess you could say so if you don't know how to use nitro blast down here it's breaking up all the pieces on the bottom left so that's how your indicator to know how much or well, how long it's taking um, so there you go now, I like doing series like this where, you know, a render series so that I can teach you guys the different types of renders instead of just a, a main, you know, one type render, you know, so you can get some more creativity in there. So, once you have your thing Nitro Blasted, we're going to do the same material for the yellow, which means the inner, and um, if you don't have material on the thing you want to Nitro Blast, this, this outer part is going to be blue and this inner part right here is going to be yellow the blue stands for the outer and the yellow stands for the inner so just keep that in mind you can do some cool things with it and I'm just going to make all these cubic seamless uh, if you don't know what cubic is and seamless seamless makes it where if it's small textures it's not going to have lines through it and cubic makes it HD so just check both of those whenever you're using uh, textures uh, also um, just before, actually, I forgot to say this. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to get a uh, mo, you want to go MoGraph fracture right here, and then you're gonna get all these pieces by opening it up like so, and you're gonna select it all by holding Shift, dragging it into the fracture. And you you can delete this for you know space, keep them organized. And Select the bottom, hold shift, select the zero piece, drag it into the same fracture, delete, like so. Now, this is such a pain for people who have long text or a lot of uh, paths in their logo. So that's why I like to minimize that because I usually use Nitro Blast a lot. So once you have all the pieces in the fracture, you're going to want to go MoGraph, Effector, and Random. Now, as you're going to see here, it's going to be broken up. Now, you could do some cool things with this, but we're just going to kind of bring it down to, like, maybe 6%. Now, I'm going to quickly render this out, see what it looks like, make sure it looks good. That's just, you always want to make sure you like what your render looks like before you get the final render process. So, uh, I'm liking the way it looks, so I'm going to keep it. And uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to duplicate this fracture and uh, we are going to set the strength to like mm, 67 that's a good amount we're gonna drag it 
we're going to select the fracture because that's the pieces and we're going to drag it behind the logo now I'm just going to get a nice angle on here so also if you guys are in need of a light room I have a, this light room that I'm using now in my store if you want to use it uh, it's a very good light room uh, it's easy to use so you know there it is so I'm just going to kind of have it about right there so nice little you know background thing you know and uh, what we're going to do now is add our chains now this will be in the description below uh, for add-ons uh, just going to go into chain and then this chain is going to pop up and it's obviously going to be too big and we're going to select this and make it a lot smaller so like so and we're so now you have this nice chain and then what we're gonna do with this chain is uh, we're gonna have it like a hanging effect now this is very popular but it's still pretty cool so you could you could do some cool things with it so I'm just gonna kinda you know make it a hanging effect uh, like so boom right behind boom make it higher like so I've been saying like so a lot, I don't know. I just like saying that. But there we go. And uh, to add a material to it, which uh, we are going to use this material, which you can buy in my store too. It's in a different material pack, I believe. It might be in the same one. I can't really remember. But we're going to add this one onto the chains. Now, to add a material, you just want to go on Taurus, set cubic, and then seamless. And you're going to have a nice looking chain. Here, I'll show you what it looks like right rendered. So we're going to let it render and that's a nice looking grungy chain. So we're just going to duplicate it. Control C and Control V to do so. Uh, basic computer stuff. Hotkeys. Very useful. And we're going to rotate it around to the other side. Now I'm going to have a little different angle so I mean it's not identical. More of a, a natural look you know. So something around the lines of this. And then what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to duplicate this chain. Either chain works from the hanging ones. And we're going to put like a little X through the logo. This gives it a nice look. Say if you pull it off right, which I guess it's not too hard to pull it off. Um, so I'm just going to kind of have the chain lined up with the logo. So it's not crooked or any. Well, not crooked, but like being weird and clunky and stuff. So I'm just going to kind of drag it up a bit, drag it behind. Uh, might make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. That'll do. And I'm just going to kind of put it through. Oh. Uh, take this. That's a nice look. And we're going to just rotate it again, other way. Oh. Like so like this and then um, we're going to just you know same thing as before just kind of drag it over here for a nice nicer look to it uh, the the small details can really make the render but you don't want to overkill it also it just takes practice to get a nice like amount of little add-ons to it because uh, you don't want to add too many chains, but you don't want to add too less, you know. So we're just going to kind of have it like so, like this, I like this. And uh, what we're, we're going to do now is use uh, Umami. I did a tutorial on this nice uh, thing. Uh, basically, what it does is it generates splines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Uh, whoops. We're going to go in here, and then we're going to go to Circle. And here, we're going to go Mesh, Profile Spline, we're going to drag Circle into it, like so, and you're going to notice this, and uh, it's obviously too big. We're going to go in a circle, and we're going to set this to, like, 10. And it's going to generate this nice thing, and uh, if you want to copy this preset, just make each one of these 360 uh, on the right side. Whoops, hold on. 360, and 360. And then we're all, we're gonna get some more splines in there, so we're gonna go number of splines, and we're just gonna raise it up a bit, and we're going to put this behind the render, 
uh, like so. About right here. Actually, I might drag it back a little bit more. Uh, this is an optional thing. Uh, so, I mean, if you don't have you, mommy, the render still looks pretty nice without it. But I'm just doing it for a nicer look. So we're just going to do that. Drag it to the left a little bit. And that will work. And uh, what we're going to put on this is a uh, a nice lava. So we're going to put it on the... We're going to go cubic. Seamless. And that's going to give it some nice color. So your color correction will do some a lot of work for with it. So basically that's how you do a nice chain render. Um, it's basically the same idea for text and uh, logos, but be careful with text because hanging, it kind of looks a little clunky, so just kind of be careful with that. You can still pull it off, but it's a little bit more difficult than a, a logo. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, if the channel, thumbnails and stuff, I don't know, really, because I think as of now, the thumbnail you see on this video is the, uh, the right thumbnail. I just got to send Jordan the right one and then we are in progress of working with a new logo so I mean if you're a concept logo designer uh, put down the comment section below add me on Skype which is in the description I've been having people all around make us concept logos that we can use for Designs Academy um, so you might see a logo changed here soon and maybe possibly a new intro, intro and maybe a new banner but and a thumbnail update with the new logo so Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, follow us on Twitter if you want at uh, Designs Academy. You could buy our apparel uh, at most places. Well, not most places, but you can buy our apparel uh, for on our homepage. You can look at that. And uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully, this tutorial was useful to you. And uh, leave some feedback down below on what you'd like to see next. Uh, peace, guys. I'm